Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. We have made it to October, y'all. We are here. The cooler temperatures are among us, the changing leaves. This happens to be one of my favorite times of the year, so I'm super grateful to be sharing that with you. Since we are in October and Halloween is right around the corner, I have a full month of fun Halloween-themed videos for you, different activities to do with your kiddos, some fall videos will be sprinkled in there as well, but today we are going to be decorating my son's playroom for Halloween. Now, I'm not really a Halloween fan. I've never really been a huge fan of Halloween, but when you have kids, something in you changes. And if you saw my playroom tour, which I'll link in a card up here, I did mention briefly that I like to decorate his playroom for different holidays. It's currently decorated for a birthday because his birthday was at the beginning of September. So it's a birthday theme right now. So you are going to go with me. We are going to decorate his playroom for Halloween. Now, I did buy quite a bit of stuff because I didn't have any Halloween decor at all. So most of the decorations came from Target, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, and Amazon. I will do my best to link everything down below for you. I'm not sure what's still available, but if it is, I will put it in the description box below. But let's head downstairs to his playroom and get started. So as you can see, we are in the playroom and it is currently decorated, as you can see over here, for a birthday theme. As I mentioned, my son's birthday was in September, so we had it decorated for that. Um, I need to take all of that down first and then we will decorate. And as you can see down here, all of my Halloween decor. So I have plenty of stuff to put up. wall when you walk down. I feel like I still want something for this blank space on the wall. I'm just not sure what. And then the top of this cart here I have decorated with the black metal mesh stand from the Target dollar spot, a pumpkin from Target. The two velvet pumpkins are from Target along with the wood one. Again the spiders from Walgreens and the wooden sign I made. It will be available in my Etsy shop. There are four different colors, matte black, shiny black, glitter black, and glitter silver. I love them. I think they're super cute. Moving down to the top of the kitchen, we have his wooden R, which has been there for a while. The pumpkins that you will see up here are actually from Target. They came in a four pack. So up top here, you have this wooded bead garland that is orange and black. That is something that I made as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to put that in my Etsy shop or not. We have the welcome sign that's old from Target along with the stand. This black, white, and orange sign I actually made. That will be in my Etsy shop. 
And then the wooden pumpkin to the left is from Target Dollar Spot. Moving over, these two black signs, the spiderweb and trick or treat, both of them I made, they'll be in my Etsy shop. These spiders are from uh, Walgreens. And again, those two pumpkins are from Target. The autumn sign is from the Target Dollar Spot. And these cute little Halloween towels, also from the Target Dollar Spot. Here is his craft and puzzle station. I just added some of the bats up there by the alphabet. And then on his table, I have out his Halloween Play-Doh along with a pumpkin. I will be doing some Halloween activities, so I'm not gonna share too much on that right now. But here is his craft and play area. So this is his reading area. I love how this space turned out. I do want to replace the rug. I feel like it doesn't really go with the Halloween theme, but that's what we have right now. I'll probably replace it with a black rug. Up top here you have the boo sign along with some bats that I had made. And then all of these books I got either from Target or from Amazon. I do like to switch out his books as I decorate the playroom just to keep things interesting so that he doesn't get bored but also so that it matches the current season that we're in. This table, this actually houses his puzzles. So on the top of the table, I have a trick-or-treat sign. I believe that is from Hobby Lobby. We've got the wooden pumpkins to each side of it. Those are from Target. These spiders are from Walgreens. And again, the bats I made. So that wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed this and were able to take some inspiration for decorating your home or your child's playroom or even their bedroom for Halloween. Like I said, I just really love making his spaces special for the holidays. So if you found this content helpful, I would love if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I post new videos on Tuesdays and Fridays and I would love to have you part of the community. It was great having you today and I'll see you again soon. Bye.